Uh, good afternoon to each and everyone. Good afternoon to all the Christians. And good afternoon to all the Church of the Body of Christ members. And to all of the people in the world that needs a guidance of the Word of God. Our topic for this afternoon is all about uh, magnifying the Word of God. First, according to Philippians chapter 2, verse 9, and also in verse 10, it says, At the name of Jesus, every knee well, in heaven and in earth shall bow. So, the supremacy of Jesus Christ, the name of Jesus, will be given an utmost uh, respect by all of the people and coming from the earth or in heaven or under the earth. Second, why do we need to magnify the word of God? It is because according to Psalms, Psalms chapter 138 verse 2, it says, The Lord, the Lord magnifies His word or His word above all His name. So, yung Dios talaga or the Lord will magnify or will magnify his word. So, he is the one who magnify his word above all his name. And third, according to Psalms, chapter 119, 119 verse eight, uh, 89, it says, God's word is forever settled in heaven. Oh? So, it is very important for us to know that the words of God is forever settled in heaven. So, doon sa langit or in heaven. And why do we need to magnify the word of God? It is because it simply says in Psalms chapter 12 verse 6, and Proverbs chapter 30, verse 5, it says, The words of the Lord are pure words. So, there is no uh, incomplete statement of the word of the Lord. So, it is pure. Pure means it is really perfect. And According to this, a silver tried in a furnace of earth purified by seven times. So it 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 is it undergone a process of purification. So that is why the words of God will be magnified. Kailangan ipalaganap sa buong mundo. Next, in Matthew, Matthew chapter four, verse four. 7 and 10 it says that the Savior was fortified against temptation by the written word. So I will repeat. The, the Savior ang manluluwas was fortified against temptation by the written word. So he, was, he used nothing except that we have within our reach. So, uh, he used nothing except. Wala, wala talagang gawin niya uh, that we have, uh, what we have within our reach. Yung kaya talaga. First, uh, next. According to First Peter chapter 1, verse 22 to 25, it says, the new birth comes by the word of God. 
the new birth comes by the word of God. Yung pagbabago talaga ay nanggagaling po sa uh, words of God. And we need also to magnify the word of God because it uh, the first Peter chapter 2 verse 2 to 3 it says as newborn babes we should desire sincere milk of the word that we may grow thereby so kailangan talaga if we are we, uh, we are a new babes o oh, baguhan o oh, kailangan tayo magbabago we should desire that is sincere milk which means coming from the heart of the word of God that may grow thereby yun ang maggrow maggrow sa loob po natin next po according to Psalms chapter 119 verse 9 it says the Lord will cleanse the life so ang Diyos na ang mag clean ng ating katawan o sa ating buhay or he will he is the one and the word this word of God will cleanse our life so ito ang magiging gabay po natin next according to Psalms chapter 119 verse 133 it says our steps so yung magkuan tayo magpalaganap Mm. kailangan tayo ng steps we should uh, should order by the word so kailangan may order yan galing sa word of God bawat iminsahe po natin nanggagaling sa Biblia or sa Holy Scriptures para po hindi tayo mapersonal para po hindi tayo magiging magagamit ng ng satanas or yung satan po and accordingly according to the Matthew chapter 4 verse 4 it says it is essential as our daily food during temptations of satan during that time satan uh, tem uh, tempted to Jesus Christ and Jesus Christ said that the essential of our daily life is the word of God, which is our daily food, the food that we are going to eat. Then, we should magnify the word of God. It is because the Second Corinthians chapter 3 verse 1 to 3 it says the unbelievers read the bible kailangan talaga yung hindi o di sa bisaya pa kinahanglan nga ang mga dili magtutuo magabasa sa bible so uh, we will convert we will convert them hmm. kailangan talaga na, mang, uh, na ang mga hindi siya sumasaayon sa po sa word of God, kailangan pababasahin ng Biblia in the lives of God's people. And lastly, why do we need to magnify the word of God? Why do we need to have to exemplify, to exhort everyone to follow the word of God? It is because according to 1 Peter chapter 3 verse 1, it says, they may without the word be converted by the godly lives of earnest Christians. So, yung conversion talaga ng mga hindi naniniwala o mali sa paniniwala, kailangan talaga magagamit ang word of God. They may without, pwede rin natin sabihin na wal, hindi sila nakakaalam kaya we will convert them we will convert them through a godly lives as the so-called earnest christian uh, 
that is all. I hope you uh, learn from these things and it will help to be strong in a Christian way. It helps us in order to become an empowered person in, the, in this world. And I hope that the Lord will bless you coming from heaven, heavens above and bless you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Maraming salamat po. Sana po, kung nagugustuhan niyo, ang uh, nagugustuhan ninyo ang topic na ito, sana po, i-like niyo, i-subscribe, at i-share itong Word of God na, na napag-alalaman niyo. Maraming salamat po.